Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your Hashtag Better Together devotion for today. And this week we have been talking a lot about different saints and, and different people, different beloved of God who have been called by God to do wonderful ministries. And one of them is a lady by the name of Ama of Sincletia. Now, that name sounds really ancient because it is. This comes out of the third century of Christianity. See, when Christianity became the official empire of Rome, there were many Christians within the empire who felt that there was a little bit of a, a cop-out by, by a lot of folks not taking on disciplines of the faith. And so they began going out into remote places to truly try to recapture the experience with God and to recapture some of, of, the, of the persecution, if you will, or, or the notion that, that they needed to be in solitude to experience God. And these were Abbas and Amas, the desert mothers and the desert fathers. And Amma, Sincletia, was one of them. Now she had grown up in a family among, with, with other daughters, no males, but other daughters. And, and she had been suited by many, many suitors came and were courting her. Her wealth was, was wonderful and, 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 and her father was going to bless her with lots and lots of things. But because of her deep faith in Christ, because of her deep relationship with God, she made the decision to go out into the wilderness and to become one of the desert fathers and desert mothers. She set about writing rules that would instill in her um, a, a discipline of prayer, uh, of poverty, of chastity, of commitment to God. These, these rules later got picked up by those in Europe and that created the monastery, the monastic movement that took place there. Amma Sincletia is most famous, though, for her stories and her illustrations and taking things out of the ordinary world and making them somehow extraordinary, somehow the natural world would speak to her in a way that she would explain the supernatural. One such way that this took place was through the compass. You know, if you look at a compass, you've got north, east, south, and west, and there's these points on a compass. Well, one of the things she pointed out was that the lines on the compass come to the center. And as they come to the center, she said, don't you notice that the lines on the compass as they come close to the center also become close to one another? She said, the same is true with us in our relationship with God and our relationship with one another. The closer we get to God, the closer we also become to one another. Those things that lead us to separate and apart from one another surely are not from God. There are many, many voices, de desert voices and voices of preachers and voices of men and women who have experienced great things. Hear their stories. Hear how God inspired them and find that you are better together through their story. This is Pastor Nathan Decker encouraging you to tell your story today.